G'day guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Mile Bay. If you're brand new here, this is a new series we've just started. It's called Mile Bay, the whole area is called Mile Bay, but the little town that we've built in the last episode has no name, the poor little thing. It's just a little village at the moment off this highway and it's going to be like this for a little while as we develop it up and start to add more and more infrastructure and buildings and population and then we'll start looking at a skyline. We're developing this town up as if it is growing over time in a realistic fashion. First time I've ever done this. We're playing to achieve some of the milestones, which we're about to achieve another one pretty soon. So that's going to be great. But um, if you want to follow along and see how this place develops over time, subscribe and it'll be great to hear from you. So I've been doing a couple of things off camera. First of all, if you saw the last video I released, you'll see that I'm now using the theme mixer mod for a couple of reasons. So first of all, I wanted to make sure that I was using good use of this field. Now it's a much usable color as before it was really bright and orange. So now it's that color. I'm going to start building some or using it to make some farmlands very shortly. Um, but I've also done a little bit of a sneaky thing. So check this out. This is my swampy area and I wanted the water to look a little bit more swampier rather than this really nice bright blue. We're going to make it all swampy. So I've changed the color in this to be kind of a bit more green, which I think looks awesome. And I'm doing that because I've just hidden a little drainage pipe here. So this is all like polluted water, but ignore that. It's not. It's swampy marshland. And I can't wait to actually start building this thing up a little bit better. So that's what I've changed off camera. So a few things I want to get done today. I would like to boost the population, trying to maybe potentially, we'll get Boomtown for sure. I think we'll get Busy Town in today's episode. Potentially Big Town. I mean, that would be really exciting. I want to get to Boomtown because it's going to start to unlock some of the transportation options we have. In particular, I'm after this ferries. Um, after this ferries, because I want to expand out the, t the town, I want to start getting the population a little bit more increased, but I also don't really want to do like a huge amount within the town. Like I don't really want to change heaps at this stage. I wouldn't mind boosting the population by potentially expanding out to some of the other areas, you know, potentially over here might be fun or over here. Like I haven't quite decided yet, but we're going to try and increase population, but out those ways. But we will do some changes within the town because at the moment it doesn't really have a huge amount of personality. It's just this little village off this highway and uh, I feel like we need to add a few more things just to make it a little bit more unique, start getting a bit of the downtown ready so we can start seeing where those things are going to happen. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm actually going to change a bit of the road layout. I'm going to just make some commitments. Let's do this right now. Or maybe more like that. Oh boy. Okay. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to continue this grid along this way. So we're going to change the grid just a bit. Just so that it's a bit more even with the shoreline. And we'll make sure that these are all lined up properly. And we'll connect that and then hopefully that's pretty close. That's fine. The grid's a little bit messed up. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. So why did I change it? I just think that's going to be a little bit better in terms of where the shoreline's going to go. Also breaks away from this grid a little bit. It does fit with this grid layout. So we've got a bit of changes in here. Also like how um, the grid just changes this uh, transition from uh, this sort of grid to this grid. I don't know, kind of fun. And I've made an absolute mess over here. So let's just clean up these trees just so we can start thinking about what we're going to place down here. All right, this is what we've got for the road. I'm going to make a couple of changes. I'm going to make changes for areas that are like this. You know, we've got some strange things going on because we don't potentially need a road like this. So let's just get rid of that. And this is our main road coming in. So let's just make that a definite thing. There we go. A little bit more substantial because that's definitely going to stay there. 
And then I've got question marks about this one. Do we keep it or do we get rid of that and make this whole park? Let's just give this a whirl. Yeah, I mean, we could potentially expand out this parkland, park out this way, and even a park here so that it's sort of like this barrier between this area and then you go into the proper downtown and there's almost like this big parkland. And we could also do some fun things with some more historical buildings. So got a couple of church and cathedral options. Number one, this guy here, which would be quite nice. And then we've got this other one that I can't afford anymore. That one might be a little bit better because it's a bit smaller. I think it might fit in with it just a little bit better. And then we've also got this courthouse that I would also like to place down. So a couple more historical buildings. We can't afford any of these things at the moment. So I uh, might have to um, maybe get some more people in first. So that's what I have in mind at the moment. I think I need to keep the game, let's just pause it because we're going to start losing some money and we've definitely lost some residents and I'm going to expand out this area and we'll see what our um, situation is like and hopefully we should see just potentially a little bit of extra income, hopefully. So straight off the bat, this is going to be very under detail. This is going to be one of my most under detailed downtowns I've ever built for pretty good reasons. We are definitely going to be changing around this area. I mean, imagine when we start putting in the highway and like skyscrapers and bigger buildings or even more established buildings. Out of everything that we built here, apart from the roads, even they will get upgraded. But in terms of buildings, we're really only looking at the church and the town hall. I would like to change all these buildings, but at some point, and I don't think we're too far away from there, but using the Plop the Growables mod and even using the historical tool to actually choose some of the Growables that I would like to stay in those places, some buildings that uh, a little bit more substantial, maybe a little bit larger. It's probably not going to really happen until we start getting some more high density commercial or even office blocks. So we're really just placing down a bunch of low commercial, which, you know, maybe some of these will stay when we start building the downtown properly. Like when we start building, you know, placing down skyscrapers and getting in some better buildings. But in terms of like the residents, like these guys are not going to stay here. These guys are going to get demolished. These blocks are probably going to be subdivided and turned into much higher density zoning and even these car parks that I'm placing down you know car parks kind of come and go just because I'm placing a car park in these areas doesn't mean they're gonna stay there they might be replaced with buildings or parks or whatever you know whatever we decide to end up placing and who knows I mean this whole place is gonna change when we start adding in highways and start changing a little bit of the road layouts but it's gonna be quite fun to see the roads that stay the more established roads would definitely stay and also what it's going to look like when we start upgrading these roads because you know a lot of this a lot of this zoning is going to have to change and a lot of the road layouts going to have to change as well i mean what's it going to look like when we start getting traffic in here like, it might be a bit of a nightmare <laughs> i've got no idea it's, it should be pretty interesting um, but I did want to place down a couple of um, services around here. We've got a high school. We desperately needed that. There was very low education within the city and in the town, I should say. Jeez, we're not even at city yet, two dollars. Come on. And I also use this um, block of land for it. That's just a little bit more obscure. It's not really following too much of a grid. And this is something that I do notice within city planning. They generally use areas like this where the grids do something a little bit more obscure. They sort of steer away from a rectangle or a square. And these places instead are generally saved for parks or schools or places that can use these areas a lot better, you know, for some sort of outdoor area or something that could use a bit of extra space. Typically not houses because I guess they're trying to make it so that each house has the same type of land or the same block and that doesn't really work with places like this. So I'm sort of trying to do the same thing. You can see we just hit the Boomtown milestone. Fantastic. This means that we can start placing down a couple of extra buildings and we've got a little bit more of a bit of a flow of money which is also fantastic. It means I can start placing down some of these more substantial buildings. So we've got the cathedral, the church that I've just placed over there. Probably going to keep that location. I, I quite like it. 
uh, just because it's got that big block of open land there that at some point I think I'll probably put a park but it's still sort of figuring out how that's going to look so I'm pretty happy with that location and then I've also got this town hall now this town hall I don't know if I'm gonna keep it just because it's a little smaller than everything else around I sort of feel like it should be a little bit bigger and plus I'm now also using some of the European buildings I've unlocked that I realized that I was actually just playing um, without that enabled I've now since enabled it so we've got a whole bunch of extra buildings to use I actually really like some of the European buildings I think they still fit in with um, this sort of theme I, th I guess this is probably more of an American theme that we're going for um, and yeah I'll probably end up replacing that with some other building that can fit there but I don't know still deciding I'm also after a bit of feedback so um, hit me up and that's kind of about it for the town center like I said we are gonna be back here and changing a lot of these areas so not doing a huge amount the main things are the road layout, the general gist of how everything's taken shape, and now this ferry terminal, which we are going to dive in and work on a little bit more, get a bit of an idea of what's going to take shape down here. All right, let's get back into it. Hmm, we're going to have to put a pause on the ferry situation. We're blowing through just a bit too much cash, and I'm not exactly making a huge amount at the moment. So I'm going to put a pause on it. The next stage within the ferry situation is a bit of an expensive one. I need to place down a ferry depot, and it's just going to cost a bit too much money. I want to replace it there. So there's a few things I want to place around here. I don't have the money for it. Plus, I'm worried about how much it's going to cost running ferries from the town to this little guy over here so let's just put a pause on it and think about where else we can expand before we start making some big changes like that uh, something that I've actually done just a bit of a thought was I thought about what this town is all about it's about fishing I mean why wouldn't it be it's all about fishing so that's something else we're gonna start placing down some fishing industry which I think is gonna look really nice on this shoreline uh, this fish market or fish yeah fish markets I think something around there we'll, we'll do that and you can see I've placed in a little bit of industry it's not growing because they've got no needs to grow at the moment we need more residential we don't need industry so that'll grow when we start placing down some more houses I have got some growing in there but let's find another town to start establishing uh, that's the question. Where else do we want to go? Hmm. So we don't want to build on an island. Maybe we could go... Like maybe over here would be nice. Oh, this is very nice. It's got a little lighthouse on top of that giant cliff. And this road here connects up to the town very nicely. So, okay, let's use this little spot. Uh, this is totally gonna be like a little surfy village For sure with a beachfront like that. We'll get into this beachfront when we start detailing this guy up a little bit more But just so we're making a bit of money from some houses some residents Let's build some streets to get a bit of an idea of how that's gonna look I'm gonna keep a bit of this rail line. I'm gonna keep the rail line, but not all this craziness because I even think at some point it'd be really fun to have a train line actually go through this town and that way we can connect up this town with our other town. Uh, two towns, guys, we have no names for. <laughs> so uh, we definitely need to start naming these places. Um, I'm dragging out this road because I don't want to forget that the train line's going to go through here. So this is where the train line's going to go. Let's not get it mixed up with our dirt road. You know, let's in fact change that dirt road to something just a little bit more substantial yeah let's just keep it at that oh boy <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a problem all right we might need to take out a loan I don't mind this road layout um, I'm gonna just follow the grid pretty much exactly what it's doing oh no yeah, I'm gonna have to take out a loan. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a bit of a pain. I think this is gonna happen a fair amount because the money situation is gonna be a bit of a problem just because I'm not aiming to just to like build a massive city and I'm not aiming just to complete the milestones. 
you know, there's also the balance of trying to make sure that everything is looking the way that I want it to and trying to expand out to some of these towns, which is definitely not the best way of planning out. I mean, if you're just trying to, you know, complete the milestones, you don't really care too much about your city and how things are going to look, then yeah, you can totally achieve the outcomes very, very quickly. But the way that I'm trying to play, definitely not recommended if you're just trying to beat milestones. So money is definitely going to be a situation. And I think what's really killing it is because I am expanding out to these places, um, this town in particular, I have to place down a whole bunch of new services. There's so many roads I'm you know, placing down here. And something else you're gonna notice is that just because I'm building a bunch of roads doesn't mean this is all gonna be um, you know, used for houses. I kind of want a bit of a scatter of houses. Around the town center, sure, it'll be a bit closer together, but around the edges, we're gonna keep it pretty bare. And I'm even going to remove some blocks of zoning just because I like the openness of it. I'm trying to get a bit of an idea of how this place is going to look. Uh, very much keen for your ideas. At first, I was thinking it's going to be a bit, bit of a surfy village, you know, probably um, really nice beach here and maybe focusing on some tourism and probably being a bit more along this beach side. Um, that's sort of what I was thinking. But then, I don't know, I started to place some stuff around this swamp and I'm, now I'm sort of thinking it could be a big swampy dusty town. I mean, you should see what this thing ends up looking like at the end because I think we're probably going to make this place a little, little bit more on the not nice side of things. I think it's definitely, um, not like a massively touristic town but you know you guys be the judge i would love your feedback and some ideas in the comment section now i am on the verge of bankruptcy i mean you can see i am just not making much money i had to wait for these guys to start growing and really just <laughs> try and just be careful with this money because we just are not making a huge amount of cash but that's fine i kind of like it like this it's really quite fun you know, just having money enabled. And it's actually just changed my way of thinking about how to play this game so much. I am enjoying having money enabled and and just working like this. It's just, it's so fun. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and it's, I think it's gonna be really great. You know, just having Oceania, which is like on the other end of the, of the spectrum. And then we've got Mile Bay, which is just so much more focused on, um, you know, a different style of building cities and level of detail. And, you know, it, this is so much so how Marble Mountain was meant to start, but it really just didn't happen like that. And, you know, it's funny because I got a lot of comments in Marble Mountain when I first released it. I, I still remember this, even though it was like three years ago. But a lot of people were saying, oh, I was really excited that you're going to be playing the game using air quotes but really just using cheats or, you know, oh, you're still just plopping buildings and you've got unlimited money and there's milestones all unlocked. And I remember reading those comments and thinking, oh, I mean, come on. I mean, I'm using vanilla buildings. What more could you possibly want? I mean, this is what I think people wanted. People really wanted to see my crack at playing the game like this. And yeah, I've, I don't blame them because this is a lot of fun and this is a really interesting way of playing. Um, I actually think that this all has all spawned from like this whole idea was an interview I did with Sardis um, quite a few months ago now, almost a year ago, I guess. Uh, it was for the City Slickers podcast and he actually mentioned that how much he enjoys playing the vanilla game and playing with the milestones and, you know, zoning and then having to demolish areas because he has to introduce a highway and not getting too attached to buildings because you're just going to have to demolish some of them or they burn down or they become abandoned. And he just really sold it to me. I hadn't ever thought about playing with milestones. I, even when I started Marble Mountain, I was no consideration of playing with money or even having things um, locked because I thought there's no way, there's no enjoyment for that for me. But I'm actually just loving this. I think it's just a lot of fun. And let me know if you're in a similar boat to me, if you've uh, considered, if I mean, if you usually play the way I play and maybe this has sparked a new appreciation for playing like this with milestones and money and all those sort of things or whether you're considering changing or whether you've always just played like this i mean let me know because it's definitely i'm definitely enjoying the two series going on the two cities that are so polar opposites that i do really love that 
Um, as you can see, we've had a bit of a problem with fire. Uh, that's an absolute um, problem, so I've got to be a bit careful of that. Um, especially in those areas, so fire management, so fire stations is definitely something I really need to be careful of in areas like that because I don't want my whole town burning down because I've just forgotten to place down some fire stations. You know, I guess crime isn't so bad because I guess eventually a house might become abandoned because of crime, but it's not as bad. But fire, I mean, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Gotta be really careful with that. So I'm making sure I've got enough fire coverage. Place down a fire station over there. And I don't think I place a police station in that town. Mostly because I don't really mind it being sort of, sort of dodgy. You know, it's a bit dodgy and maybe that's the way it is. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna bite me in the um, backside towards the end. <laughs> if, you know, if people start um, leaving the town because of that reason. But I don't know, at the moment I kind of just want to keep it like that. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it really is a problem or we'll see if it's, um, you know, going to be a manageable thing. Now for the last part of this time lapse, which is going to be, I mean, it's very short lived, this time lapse. We're going to be jumping back into a live play pretty, um, pretty soon. I wanted to come back over to this town and work on this waterfront where I'm considering putting my fishing industry uh, I think it might be over here like this is this is where I'm generally thinking and I'm doing some things with the surface painter Just making it a little bit more concretey probably a little bit too much concrete But I guess that's how these places look, you know, if they're an industrial You know usually waterfronts have got some sort of industrial area and I figured this would probably work And you know eventually when we have a downtown around here I can see this place being turned into public space, you know, it doesn't have to be industrial I reckon we might push the industry out of the city at some point or at least part of it And I reckon some of this area would probably be parklands I can see, you know, some tennis courts around here and some public space So don't get too attached to everything don't get too attached to anything with this series at the moment because everything is subject to change That's until we start placing down some things that I think are going to be a bit more substantial And we'll start making sure that those places look a little bit more detailed If you're thinking that everything looks very under detailed at the moment and I'm not putting in as much effort Yeah, I'm doing that on purpose. We're going to be doing as much detail as Marble Mountain was maybe a little less Maybe some places a little more but most of it is going to be much more detailed than what we're been doing so far um, and just quickly see how we got these containers over here I don't know if I'm gonna keep the vanilla containers I might actually replace them with the Avanya ones I did that in Marble Mountain as well just because Avanya's ones are just a billion times better so yeah we'll um, have to consider that down the track but uh, we are almost about to finish this time lapse which is good timing because my neighbors about to start his bathroom renovations. I can hear him firing up some of the tools, which is just absolutely wonderful news. But uh, this last little thing that I'm doing, I'm adding in some seaweed, some growth under the water. This looks so great. I am really glad I did this and I'm totally gonna put more of this in other areas. But that's it for the time-lapse. Let's jump back into the game. So the good news is that we are now looking at a little bit of money, which is great. We're making a little bit of money. We can start affording some of the fairy stuff, which is excellent. Uh, we haven't exactly achieved too much in terms of the population. We're still a little bit away. That's fine. I do plan to pop up the population a little bit more with a town over here. Um, let's have a look at our dusty little swampy beachside town that we did start making. So like I mentioned in the time lapse, very bare bones. We're not exactly going into a huge amount of detail. I still want to figure out what you guys want this to look like and what sort of detail work we're going to put into it, what sort of uh, vibe we're going to be going for. Um, I've done a little bit of stuff. We've just uh, plopped the growables and mostly to do with the commercial district, which is just, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty much nothing. <laughs> but I do expect to um, expand out. I'm looking forward to seeing what this end up ends up turning into. Um, should be pretty interesting. But it is definitely a dustier town than I expected. Dusty and swampy. Alright, we're going to start connecting these guys up. Some sort of ferry stop here, a ferry stop here, and a ferry stop over there. Uh, let's start with our ferry depot, which I want to place just... Ah, oh, you idiots. Oh, that's so annoying. I wanted to place it right there. I haven't given myself enough space. Guess I could probably put it over here. Let's do that instead. 
Okay, so I wanted to pretty much touch the ferry stop. We stick it onto that end right there. Hmm, all right, I don't think it's gonna let me. So let's use move it instead. Get them looking pretty close. I'm gonna align this with that. Hmm, that is fine. They're not touching, but I'll survive. Hmm, you know what? We could actually try and do something. How about we grab this network and we can maybe line it up to that. And then we could do another one. Maybe like there. I think that's better. I don't mind that. This whole area is a little bit too concretey. I think we could probably make it a little bit nicer, particularly when we start developing more of the downtown. I would like to make this a little less industrial, potentially move the industry to another area. But we'll talk a bit about that at the very end of this episode. Let's get some ferry lines down. All right, so let's drag it out like this. Okay, now this is where, I think this is where the town's gonna go. So I'm just gonna place down a tiny little ferry stop. Awesome. Just to, ah, uh, of course, <laughs> of course. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Let's worry about that later. Let's keep on going with the ferry stops. all the way through here. Probably would have made more sense for the ferry to go through all this marshland, but I don't know, I kind of want to make that a little bit more remote. Only things I really want to see going around there are some probably like fishing vessels, maybe some just recreational boats, but not really the ferry. Now, next ferry stop. This little town, where should we put its ferry stop? Well, I guess if this is the downtown, like the main commercial district, this is the center of town, it should probably be on one of these main roads. I mean, maybe, maybe about here. So let's evict this guy and this guy, that. Line him up. Let's not make it too fancy. This town is definitely not a fancy town. Probably should remove some of these trees. Beautiful. Well, kind of. <laughs> yes. All right. That's all I wanted to do. Wonderful. Uh, I don't want like a ton of boats. So how about we just have a look at that network and see if we can just reduce the amount of ferries we've got driving around the waters. I think maybe two or three would be good. We probably don't need four. We don't need five. We definitely don't need 11. So let's drag this down. I'm just going to make it three. So I guess that means I now have to build a little town over here. So again, similar to this one, I don't really know what this is going to look like over here. Is this a touristic town? Is this going to be a... Uh, like a farming village? Is this going to be a beachside town? Like, what are we going to go for? I might just build a couple little roads and build a bit of what it might look like in terms of road layout. But in terms of its name and what kind of a place it is, it's up to you guys. Hit me up in the comments. But I am going to keep this absolutely basic. I think it's just going to have a few roads, a few paved roads. And then the rest can be probably just dirt. And honestly, I think that's about it. I'm not going to give this too much more. I like that it's on this hill. I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> Maybe not that dramatic. Just make it a little steep, not crazy. Actually, you know, what? let's <laughs> let's just reduce this a little bit. Okay, that does look a little crazy. Um, what we can do though with these roads using uh node controller is I'm going to make these sloped. 
and that is going to make a huge difference particularly with these areas that are just like crazy steep having a flat T section like that I mean it's not that necessary sloped is totally fine and then let's do some zoning I'm going to actually no before we zone let's make sure that these are going to grow in the same style as everything else I'm going to keep it as that suburban zoning where did, actually no you know what let's go swamp town because I think that really represents a small town over here so let's go swamp town I liked that theme that we had I'm gonna make my houses grow on these roads so not these ones now they're absolutely gonna start complaining about a lack of water <laughs> a lack of services uh, we should probably fix them up with that and then the same of our swampy village I'm just gonna have high density and I say high density but really it's just regular zoning in the actual center of the town and then we'll go to these much more spread out houses on these outer edges now I don't think anyone's gonna move in until we give them a little bit of power I'm gonna give them just one wind turbine I think that should be enough yeah I'm not like a massive fan of putting it up on there but we do need to give these guys some power and I don't exactly want to drag out a power line through the river so that's fine and then for water just a water tower I think that's all we really need it's a shame that they're so noisy because I would really like to have it around here but I don't really want to make it too unpleasant for all those guys so let's just do that and I should probably get rid of the zoning here just because this is gonna be very noisy and then that's our sleepy little town I'm gonna make it so that they only grow to the very first level because I think that is fine for how these are gonna look and now I'm gonna go through some of the commercial district because I don't mind the way these things are growing but I think I would prefer to plop them myself so that I can actually handpick what sort of buildings I want in this area Uh, now gonna lay down some trees because it's looking pretty pretty empty around here and this would definitely be a pretty pretty bushy type of area A little island town is now complete and you can see that people are only accessing it via this ferry line it is just so cool that that is uh, just the only way you can get there because of that we've had to add a couple of different services because this is not connected via road so we've had to put in a fire station and a police station and a recycling center these again very temporary and even the town itself somewhat temporary I just wanted to lay it down get a bit of an idea of what it's gonna look like and then get some ideas from you guys because there's so much that we can put into this and it can change in so many different ways um, something that I've had to do I've had to put in this park I mean I'm glad I did because it actually looks quite cool like this it's just a very simple beachside um, beachside park and I've done that because these are actually level two so they were complaining that it was low land value made a park here now they're pretty sweet so that's fine and that actually looks much better pretty simple stuff here but I think the end results you know it's 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 fine and I'll, I quite like the way it is uh, and like the power supply here is actually just so close to just it's only just enough like so much so that this 
wind turbine was down here generating six um six something i don't kind of remember what the output was six meg megawatts and that had to put it up to here and then it was eight so <laughs> that's like only just enough power but that little town for the time being is complete hopefully they they survive over here we're not going to get too much complaints we've got our swampy town as well which is i mean in terms of the ferry line i mean it's pretty desirable amazing although the crime rate over here is just terrible <laughs> so i don't know if i'm going to keep it like that because somewhat i don't really mind that it's like that um something to note is that we're not actually making a huge amount of money anymore because I've had to put so many services out in these places, um, not even servicing this town over here. So I think that's where the challenge is really going to lie. And I think this this uh, this episode really shows the challenges that we're going to encounter with this series in terms of making money, in terms of meeting milestones, which we didn't hit this milestone. And I think that really shows that we're not going to be achieving everything in every episode because it's going to be complicated and difficult to work through this map in the way that I would like to achieve things, which is great because I kind of want this to go on for a while. I don't want to just meet every milestone from um, the get-go. In terms of the next episode, I think that I'm going to work on my fishing industry because this town is definitely going to be a fishing town and I would like to set that up a little bit better. Uh, I think I'm okay with all what's going on down here, but I I also think that it's a lot of concrete for what is a pretty green town. I wouldn't mind potentially just making this a little bit nicer around here, not just not just all dock. So I might even change up around here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out in the next episode. So yeah, some fishing industry, and I might even expand out around here as well. Um, and I'm, we're definitely going to hit Boomtown, which will be so damn good. But the before and after is upon you, and you can see we've made a fair amount of changes, which is really cool. And I think the downtown is in a much better spot, and I'm pretty excited to see how that all expands. But you know what? That'll be next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. Before I head off, I want to give a special thanks to the wonderful people supporting the channel on Patreon. Ronan Kelly, Jordan Meaden, Simone Peachy, Bobby LA, JPK, Stephen Bodessa, Leah Horton, Daniel Degard, Reggie, Cheffer Flex, Yuzum Wang, and Nick Holdish. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!